What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 101. If you have not seen my big giant Christmas unboxing, click here, but this is another gun that I actually just got like three days after Christmas. I just traded for this and this is a super sweet HPA, it's a Wolverine base build, um, DMR style, but I actually got some other stuff with it, so we'll go over the gun at the end, but I'll show you some of the externals that I got as well. So first thing I got is an Under Armour beanie. This guy actually ordered stuff from Airsoft Junkies, so we got the whole gun and some mags and kit from that. And then he also placed a giant order from e-bike, and he actually has the slips in the packages, so just left them in there. That's kind of cool to keep track of it. Um, but I didn't even know that e -Bike sold a bunch of Under Armour stuff. However, this is their Under Armour beanie. It looks really nice. It's just a black um, beanie. It's high quality because it's Under Armour. Um, it's got looks like it's got shotgun shell, so you can kind of put around here. Um, I don't know if I would ever use that or anything, but this guy has an interesting loadout, as we'll soon see. Um, the main thing that he ran was actually a backpack, and this is a hydration carrier, and he threw the tank in here and just used that, and then actually used mag pouches on the side. So he has two mag pouches from Condor that he included on the side, and then he has this hooked up to kind of be a backpack. And then inside of the Condor hydration carrier, he also has his tank. So he included um, an Airsoft Junkies tank. This is what he got. It's an SLP tank. It's a uh, 62 CU by 3000 PSI metal tank, so it's honestly decent. Not going to hold a ton of air, um, but also like probably a mid-sized tank. And it's decently light for a metal tank, which is nice. And it also has the cool Airsoft Junkies logo on there. I think that's pretty cool. Um, it's kind of kind of even raised a little bit, so it feels good. Up next, we have the sight box. It's an NC Star um, OSS Octagon Scope Series, and it's, it's uh, illuminated as well. I'll wait to that later. The regulator that he included is the one that came with it. Um, it's just Air Junkies SLP reg. Works pretty well. It has a good refresh rate, but these are just kind of honestly as simple as they go regulator-wise, and they work okay. Um, you got your gauges and everything on there, and it's also included a pretty short wide bore line. I like the fact that it's short because if I'm going to run, um, when I ran a longer HPA line, it kind of got stuck and just wasn't as good. Um, up next, we have a, this is actually something I was really excited for. So this is a Cryptek Typhon fanny pack. So you can see on there, um, the Cryptek Typhon pattern is a little bit faded. Um, it shows that it's actually from Avengers on there. So he got it off Evike, and it's from Avengers. However, in the inside label, it is TMC, which is a Chinese brand. So it's TMC Avengers. They're obviously all the same thing, made in the same factory. And then he ran like some sort of Shamog style thing with it as well. And he has this um, kind of face mask. But this is actually pretty cool. I might, I might actually use this, to be honest. I might actually run this. Oh, and he has an extra Valken tech battery in there. That's cool. It looks like that's the other side scope for the grip. And then... There's another little pouch, so that's cool. So I have one, that means I have two of the lipos. Hopefully this is still charged. Next up we have mags, so he included 10 mags total. There are five Elite Force mags, so these are Elite Force mid caps, and he kept these loaded, so hopefully they didn't, they're not super heavy BBs, or he didn't load them for super long. Kind of check that. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like he fully loaded them, and the BBs felt pretty heavy, so hopefully those springs they came out pretty quickly hopefully these mags are newer he's only played like five times and so hopefully everything with those works well the cooler mags that he included are the troy mags so he actually got these with the airsoft junkies package there were five mags that came with it and these are the troy mags these are actually really cool because my friend rob has one of the real mags um, and they look pretty similar to these ones and they have pretty good grooving and they just feel good they actually hold a hundred and ninety rounds which was really surprising that's like that's a really high capacity for a mid cap. It's got a cool clear up top so you can kind of see down into the mag, maybe potentially see how many rounds you have left. I'm hoping these feed well on my GMP gun because I would love to use these. They look awesome externally and I'm guessing they're pretty expensive to be honest for mid caps. However, I've not looked 100% into it. He also included some BBs so it looks like he barely opened these. These are 0.25 gram BBs. Looks like probably has like 4,500 rounds, maybe 4,800 rounds in there because it's pretty close to the top. And then he got these uh, from Airsoft Junkies as well. These are .36 HPA, high-powered Airsoft or high-precision ammo. Um, I'm guessing that's some sort of branding that Airsoft Junkies has, and they can sell some BBs on there. I think these are should be pretty decent. They're bio BBs. I'm guessing they're pretty expensive, but hopefully they work well. I don't know if I'll even use them. That's a pretty high round. I like to run .3s in all of my HPA, at least when I had mine. It shot pretty well, and it's still had a consistent FPS and I wasn't um, hurting anyone. Also, he, he has the hydration bladder and then a speed loader. I'm not exactly sure what brand this is, 
But the last part before we get to the gun are these uh, Oakley goggles. He got these. These are the Oakley Ballistic SI Halos. And so I was like, wow, that's a really cool ad. I'm guessing these were pretty expensive because nothing Oakley is cheap. And then I pulled them out of the sleeve and stuff, and I was like, whoa, these are awesome. I didn't even know he was including these in the deal. And so you guys can tell they look pretty sweet as well. You actually see the reflection off of the light boxes. Um, but they feel comfortable. They're full seal. Uh, I, they have a tinted window, so it may be a little bit worse in night situations. However, they bend a little bit, and they just they look good. Oakley stuff makes... Uh, they make high quality stuff. I'm hoping they don't fog. I mean, I have um, ESS turbo fans, so I really don't need to use them. However, I think they're pretty cool. But without further ado, look at this gun. Dude, this thing is so big. It has a 12 inch metal suppressor on here. I will 100% be getting rid of this unless it's like super foam filled, which I don't know if it is. It could be. Um, still don't need it that much. That's so much, that's so much extra range and it would be impossible to maneuver anywhere close. However, this isn't that long of a barrel. I think it's only a 14.5 inch barrel. Um, so that, that should work pretty well. Up top here, we have a Noveski rail system. These are so, so nice. They're so lightweight. I really, really like the Noveski logo. I think it looks awesome. And I think their rail systems they make are really, really cool. Um, one of my favorite, probably like top five favorite rail systems, if I ever had to have to pick one, I had one in an old AEG a long time ago. Uh, but this one, honestly, this whole gun is in pretty pristine condition, so that's really nice. Right here, we have a Falcon grip. I don't know exactly which one of these four grips that it is, but it's kind of like um, they kind of cut off the bottom of it, so it looks pretty cool. You guys will see a little bit more um, in the secondary clips that I have, but it's a pretty decent grip. It, it feels nice. The rail, honestly, just looks beautiful uh, more than anything. Up top, we have an NC Star 1, uh, one uh, four times to, to 4 by 20 sight on there. I don't know exactly um, how good these are, but it looks like a pretty decent sight. And they actually include a lens cap on here as well. It's really cool. So it's a clear lens cap, so you can see, still see through it. You can still see the targets. But if a BB were to hit it, it'd break the lens cap rather than breaking the lens of the actual scope itself. So I think that's a really cool idea. I don't know if they did it specifically for Airsoft or that's just how it works. Uh, but that's a really cool add-on there. Um, just to kind of make the or like create a longer lasting scope and help it with longevity. The body is actually VFC, so Airsoft Junkies does something and they work out a deal with VFC. So the bodies are VFC, which is really nice. It has a nice Ergo grip on here. I think the brand is Ergo. Um, and I think they come in like green packaging. I've, I think I had one before, but they're really nice. It feels comfortable. I'd really like to stipple this grip if I'm being honest, maybe smooth it down and then stipple it because it's nice. And then finally, coming up in the rear, we have a Magpul ACS stock, and these are awesome. For battery space and they're just comfortable stocks Magpul uh, stuff is really good and then it also has a pretty comfortable cheek well on here as well i really like how the acs stocks enable you to just kind of shoot with a higher um, scope the only problem with this is that it it has a slower trigger response so most of my um, stuff has a higher trigger response and then i'm gonna have sure shot midget demonstrate his trigger response so one of the things with the wolverine smp gen 2 which is what this is i he actually wasn't sure what hpa it was um, but it is a Wolverine, as, as it says on there, and I looked exactly what model it was on Airsoft Junkies. But if you listen to that, like, I'm trying to pull it as fast as possible. So I'm going to have SureShot Midget demonstrate how fast you can do with, like, a normal Polar Star or Falcon on semi-automatic. So you can see that this is a very big difference. See how much faster that is? And it was way faster on my Polar Star when I had it. And then this one is the... Like, even when I'm trying to shoot as fast as possible, you can listen. It's like skipping because my finger is shooting faster than the FCU can keep up with. But honestly, not a huge deal. I know this is a DMR setup. Um, it does come with a speed trigger, so it had a super, super long trigger pull. We got it. Um, and sure, I mentioned it adjusted it, so it actually shoots way faster now. And that's super nice. And then finally, with this gun, it comes with a pro win hop up unit. You can see that beautiful blue, shiny part in there. That thing is awesome. Um, it also is a flat hop. I don't know if it's like an Amazu flat hop bucking or what it is, but it's flat hop. So I'm super excited to go out and test this and shoot this, but super good deal that I got right before the New Year's. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Alec Mac 111. Have a happy New Year's. I'll see you guys later.